the Boyle's law and the conversion factor formula can be applied to cylinders containing a gas in a pure gaseous form. Calculations for nitrous oxide are only applicable once the pressure drops below 745 psi due to the presence of liquid and gaseous forms. The pressure will remain constant until 75% of the 1590 liters of gas is consumed, which is approximately equal to 400 liters. Prior to this point, the cylinder must be weighed to determine the amount of gas. The principle used is Avogadro's hypothesis. It states that equal volumes of all gases or vapor under same condition of temperature and pressure contain equal numbers of molecules. It means that if the temperature, pressure, and volume are kept constant, any gas will contain same number of molecules. Hypothetically in this diagram, six molecules each. The hypothesis also states the one mole of any gas or vapor occupies 22.4 liters at normal temperature and pressure. In other words, 44 grams of nitrous oxide, 32 grams of oxygen and 28 grams of nitrogen occupies 22.4 liters. These weights are the molecular weight of one mole of aforementioned gas. Since nitrous oxide exists in a gas-liquid equilibrium, it is customary to weigh the cylinder with its content. If we subtract the empty cylinder weight which we call tear weight from the total cylinder weight, we can measure the weight of nitrous oxide in the cylinder. For example, let's assume the weight of the cylinder with nitrous oxide is 5.6 kg and the tear weight of nitrous oxide cylinder is 4.5 kg. So the weight of nitrous oxide is 1.1 kg or 1100 grams. As per the Avogadro's hypothesis, one mole of nitrous oxide with molecular weight of 44 grams occupies 22.4 liters of volume. Therefore, the volume occupied by 1100 grams of nitrous oxide can be calculated as 560 liters. So if we use nitrous oxide at the flow rate of 2 liters per minute, it will last for 280 minutes or 4 hours and 40 minutes.